the last in the last second it travels a distance of 9h by 25 find out h a ball is dropped from a high edge. In the last second, it travels a distance of 9 h by 25. Find height h. Have you drawn a diagram? Ball is dropped from here, height h. In the last second, it has travelled a distance of 9 h by 25. Find out the height. Ha, it is drop. Dropping means initial loss is 0. No, nobody will come and explain me a question when you are writing exam. Listen, this is what it is written here. Oh sorry, it is tower or a mountain? No, it is tower. Okay, fine. Then you draw a tower for me. No, you will just, I must define the question, you have to solve it. Huh? H. Find out H. Suppose I know that last second is the 10th second. Then total time of the journey is 10 seconds. That's the link. Okay, u is what? 0 half into 
a is 10 let us say into 2n minus 1 okay yes or no now i also know that h is equal to half 10 into n square yes or no i am using s equal to ut plus half it square for entire journey from here to here Ready? Total time taken is n seconds. N is 5. N is 5. So just put n equal to 5 and get the answer. Alright. Understood? All of you understood? Have you understood that there are these two equations? Now nothing left. Everything is written on the board. Got it? What? 250 by 2 which is 125. 125 is the answer. Forget about the answer. I don't care what. Have you got the concept here? Same question will not come in the exam. Some other question will come. If you don't understand how to solve it, it doesn't matter how many times you copy from the board. Have you understood? Any doubts? Any doubt? Doubt question? Shallow. We'll take one more question. What? What n square? See, s equal to ut plus half. Hey, hero, hey, hero, hero, hero. Scroll up, scroll up. The corner one. Siddharth. Scroll up. Hero, hero, hero. Hero. I'll not be so nice every time that I'll just ask you to change the place. Warm it, warm it. Okay. So, you're asking from where this equation comes, right? So, if you use s equal to ut plus half it is square for throughout the journey from here till here, displacement is h, attrition is g, u is 0, and t is how much time it will take. If I know that final second is nth second, if final second is nth second, total time will be n seconds. If I say that ninth second is my final second before it hits the ground, so total time taken is 9 seconds. Okay, so that is why this n and that n both are same. Then like this. No, no, you are able to solve. Somebody has solved all those. No, this is wrong. D minus one whole square when you write this, this is not correct. That is correct. Okay, shh. Now, here, here is a doubt, guys. Listen here, listen to the doubt. Somebody is saying, can we put t equal to 1 second and s is equal to 9h by 25? And my initial velocity will be 0. What is wrong here? Initial is not 0, yes. If you know the velocity, if you know the velocity over here, then you can put t equal to 1 second. But you don't know the velocity at that moment. Alright, one more question. Okay, listen. From the foot of a tower 90 meter high, I will not repeat the question again. From the foot of a tower 90 meter high, a stone thrown up. A stone is thrown up. Okay? It is thrown with that velocity which is sufficient for it to just reach the top of the tower. Understood? No, no, no. Listen to the question. From a foot of a tower 90 meter high, a stone is thrown up so as to reach the top of the tower. Okay? It just reaches the top of the tower if you just talk about what is the velocity of that stone. Okay? 
Okay, step number one, can you find its velocity quickly? Find its velocity, then I will tell you the complete question. G is, G is, if you take G as 9.8, probably a perfect square root will come, but you can take G as 10. I don't care about final answer, okay? If you, if you think that quickly, I tell the answer then. No. I'll come and see how you have done it. So on the foot of the tower, the velocity is just sufficient for it to reach the top of the tower.
चलो कोई नहीं ओके तो दिस इज सिक्सटी फाइव देन दिस इज हाउ मच So 
upon t into t, then minus half g is there into t square, right? But velocity at point b, can I find out? How? v is equal to u plus a t. From a to b, I can use v is equal to u plus a t. Okay, my initial velocity is 42.5 minus 10 into 2. So I am getting it as 22.5 meter per second. So this ub is 22.5 meter per second. And all of you understood this? Okay. Now, this 25 minus y, this will be how much? Half gt square. Initial velocity of the second ball is 0. So u t plus half it is square. Okay? So you have to solve these two equations. If you add these two equations, you will see that uh, you know this and this will be gone, this and this will be gone, you will get uh, T as 25 divided by UB. UB is 22.5, so 25 divided by 22.5 is the answer. Understood? Can, can you go through it again like you, you spend a couple of minutes, there is no hurry. Uh, understand the entire question. This is how it will be in the comedy exams. It will not be straightforward. Please go through it once and let me know if you have any doubts. Just check your equation. Don't worry about the final answer. Understood how the equation is coming? Understood the equation? All of you? Any doubt? Any doubt? Did you derive last class graphically as equal to ut plus half it is square? Have you done this? Any doubt? Anything? Please ask. Well, no doubt in here. No doubt. Okay. Final answer of Koi Ni Pushra, sir. Okay. 